throughout the day. The cloud cover has been thickening up across the area and even a few small sprinkles developing mostly to the southwest of Dothan. You can see that on our one hour time lapse loop and as that moisture increases, our rain chances will be increasing off as the moisture comes in off the Gulf of Mexico. And we've had some strong storms across the central part of Alabama into the northern part of the state. This is associated with the same cold front that will bring us some showers going to the overnight and through the day tomorrow. But the good news is that this line should weaken as it does move in our general direction. There are a couple of active tornado warnings within the Birmingham area, one a little bit closer to Montgomery, so something to watch out for. There is a tornado watch in place throughout this evening. There's a chance that that could be extended a little bit more to the east, but it will not include us here in the Wiregrass. Just a few sprinkles are in the forecast for us tonight. As far as our view downtown, rather breezy, a thick cloud deck out there. The camera has been bouncing around thanks to a strong southerly breeze, 15 miles per hour at the moment. And because of that moisture increasing, the temperatures are going to be very slow to cool off for tonight. Just the middle 60s expected by tomorrow morning. Upper 70s for most of our reporting sites. Blakely at one of the cool spots, 73 degrees, a little bit cooler out in Crestview, Defuniac Springs, Florala, where there have been some small showers working their way through, but our rain chances will be increasing as we do head into the overnight. More rain is expected for Friday by far more than what we will be dealing with for tonight. So if you do have plans to be downtown tonight, maybe just a few small sprinkles will be expected for us, not out of the question. Cool and nice weekend will be expected as the storm system that we are tracking tonight and through the day tomorrow clears us off to the east and on the backside of that going into next week. Certainly some seasonable temperatures in the forecast. We'll be looking at our temperatures in the 70s and 60s for highs with dry conditions. That main frontal boundary will be moving through tomorrow. Hour by hour, we can see that getting a little bit closer tonight. First thing tomorrow morning, we will have some showers on the radar and then going throughout the day. That moisture will be streaming in from the Gulf of Mexico, so possibly around dinner time or so. Things will certainly be drying out on the radar and then in the overnight hours very early on Saturday, one more wave of moisture, but then the day on Saturday is going to be looking pretty good. Closer to home for tonight. Temperatures very slow to cool off with that strong surly breeze. You might notice a little bit of smoke moving into Dothan again for tonight with some burning in northwest Florida. But as those winds shift out of a more northwesterly direction, as those showers move in tomorrow, that will no longer be an issue. With that wind being persistent throughout Friday and into the weekend. Pretty strong out the northwest at times for tomorrow. Temperatures warming into the upper 60s to lower 70s for afternoon high temperatures. So a pretty nice stretch of weather going into the evening hours for tonight though. Definitely a mild one, if not downright warm. 66 degrees for the low temperature, a few passing showers, and that will be the case going through the early morning hours tomorrow as well with those mild temperatures sticking around. And with the cloud cover and those rain chances moving in throughout the day tomorrow, those high temperatures will be a little bit cooler than for today, a little bit on the slower side to warm up for tomorrow afternoon, 73 degrees for that afternoon high temperature. So not much of a temperature spread for tomorrow. A little bit cooler on Saturday on the backside of that storm system, rather breezy. And then for St. Patrick's Day, calming down a little bit, warming up a bit as well, upper 60s. I do want to note that those 